So think about this. You have two choices in life. The title of the sermon is Choose Your Suffering. These are your choices. You can either suffer by being hungry sometimes, or you can suffer by being severely overweight. Because if you never want to be hungry, and any time you lust for food, whatever the food you lust for, you just gratify that lust and just eat whatever you want, whenever you want, however much you want, you're going to get severely overweight doing that. And you know what's going to happen? You're going to suffer. Why? Because there's suffering associated with being severely overweight. So you can either suffer by controlling yourself and not overeating, not eating and, and indulging in the wrong foods, or you can suffer the consequences of indulging in the wrong food. Here are some uh, examples of suffering. And I'm not trying to offend anybody and hurt people's feelings. And, you know, we live in the snowflake generation. And so, unfortunately, people get offended if you start getting on their sin or on something that they struggle with. And look, I'm not trying to, to, to rag on people that are, that are overweight or out of shape or whatever. I'm just trying to help you. I'm just trying to preach to you the truth tonight. You know what? Whatever sin uh, you're involved in or have been involved in, you know what? I'm not here to condemn you. I'm here to try to help you. Jesus said, I didn't come to condemn the world. I came to save the world, but yet Jesus preached hard against sin. Why? Because he's just trying to condemn everyone. They're condemned already. He's trying to help them. And look, the Bible says some men's sins are open before hand, going before to judgment, and some men, they follow after. Likewise, also the good works of some are manifest beforehand, and they that are otherwise cannot be hid. So the Bible tells us that some sins are more open than others and some consequences of sin are more open than others. And so, yeah, it's easy to look at somebody and you can notice, okay, this guy has, or gal has indulged in gluttony or this person has been slothful. You can see that, okay? Whereas, look, you, ha you that are thin or you that are in shape, you have your own problems, amen? amen? So don't look down, you know, this isn't to look down on people or condemn people because you know what? If you could put on spiritual glasses, we would all have something wrong with us. Amen? We, you know, some people would be spiritually obese or spiritually, you know, being pole skinny or, or spiritually whatever. So I'm not trying to rag on anybody or hurt anybody's feelings. But you know what? The problem today in America is that because pastors are just so afraid to ever hurt anybody's feelings, that it's like they won't preach anything. Oh, we can't preach on gluttony. That's going to hurt people's feelings. Let's struggle with that. We can't preach about divorce because then you're going to offend all the people that are divorced. And we can't preach against the sodomites because everybody's got a sodomite in their family, the, the, the queer uncle, and we're going to hurt their feelings. And we can't preach against this or that. Look, then we, what's left at that point? What's left? You know, you got to preach on everything. And you got to understand that when somebody preaches on your sin, or something that you struggle with, they're trying to help you. They want to help you. They love you. It's, it'd be easy to get up and not preach on all the things that offend people. That's what most pastors are doing today. But we need to preach this. Just trying to help you. Just trying to give you sound counsel and wisdom and advice here. You're going to suffer, my friend. If you indulge in gluttony, you will suffer the consequences of that. And you say, man, it's so hard to, to lose weight or so hard to, to, to eat healthy. But you, and you know what? It is hard, but it's also hard to deal with the consequences of not doing that. They're both going to be hard, so choose your suffering tonight. That's what I'm trying to say. Choose your suffering. Here are some su here's some suffering caused by being severely overweight. How about bad health? How about a bad self-image? You know, people get issues because they feel bad about themselves, about the way that they look or the way that they feel. How about marriage problems that could be caused when, when, when someone becomes severely overweight? 